so uh yeah we've been talking about uh, god's original intention which is to um have man as the one who manages the earth okay now one of the terms that we the reason why we want to understand this is also to know that uh man is when we said he's made in the image of god and we said that you know he's the light he's the right a uh, candidate who has been vested with authority to take care of everything but at the same time we must understand that man is also uh, the representative of god whom god expects to execute his purpose here on the earth so that is very important in fact that is our main takeaway that is our main takeaway from uh, today's discussion that man is supposed to be a representative of god so when god put man in charge over here it was not a disconnected thing that god said okay i'll create the earth and i'll put man there and the story is over they live happily ever after but we still continued to be in connection with god the kingdom of god um, and man was supposed to come under the authority of god and execute god's purposes on the earth so that is why god had representatives of his own image here on the earth now however uh, we know that you know they uh, adam and eve they sinned against god and they lost this authority even when we look at the old testament whenever god wanted something done uh for his kingdom according to his purposes what did he do he always picked a man or a woman right it was usually someone someone who was engaged not that uh, god could not lead the children of israel out of egypt into the promised land but god called upon a moses it was because here on the earth god has given authority to men okay he has given authority to mankind and so there are certain things that mankind is supposed to do so god would call upon mankind to take things forward so god would pick a man or a woman to get his uh, purposes into action so that's how he would function so when we talk about authority and god's original intention we must remember this word represent so we are here given that uh, dominion and authority for what reason to represent god and to do what god wants us to do that was god's original intention then of course the fall happened so in the fall what are some of the outcomes of the fall you know we term uh, adam and eve's disobedience as the fall of mankind so a couple of things that happened one is through disobedience they showed that they don't want god's authority because in god's authority they were given a command that they were to eat of uh, certain things in the garden but to stay away from certain things they disobeyed by doing that what they were actually displaying was their rejection of god's authority so that's what happened in the fall they rejected god's authority the authority of god's uh, kingdom rule and reign over their lives so that happened secondly they placed themselves under the authority of the devil how did they do that basically by obeying what the devil wanted them to do and you know disobeying what god wanted them to do and from that moment on you know it earlier it was like they were only coming under the influence of god and god's authority but now they are heavily coming under the influence of the kingdom of darkness as well okay because of their disobedience and then of course you know the authority that god had given to mankind 
remember he said that mankind was supposed to be the representative of god made in the image of god made in the likeness of god to uh, rule and reign subdue the earth but that authority now had shifted into the hands of the devil now you may ask the question how how did it shift when did we realize well one um, good passage that gives us this insight is you remember when jesus was tempted he was tempted in luke chapter 4 and at that point uh, satan you know he comes to jesus and he says all kinds of things okay why don't you jump off uh, this this height and god's angels will protect you but he also says do you see the kingdoms of this world they are mine i'll give it to you and at that point you wonder how can satan say that the kingdoms of this world belong to on the earth belong to mankind because what did we see earlier in psalm 115 verse 16 the heavens belong to the lord but the earth belongs to who it belongs to man but now because of disobedience satan automatically he has become the ruler of this world you know you have terms like the god of this world and then you're like how when when did this happen at the fall the authority which was given to man only to man shifted into the hands of satan right so these are all the things that happened during the fall however we praise and thank god because you know god himself made a plan of redemption through his son the lord jesus christ and you know he came to buy back this lost authority you know uh, uh, which now satan had with him so we know that the lord jesus he became a little um, uh, you know he he humbled himself he became a man uh, he came here representing the human race he paid the price for uh, the sin of of mankind the sins of the world he conquered satan and the demons he redeem mankind forever and what did jesus say all authority on heaven and earth it's mine i give it to you okay so he gave it back to us uh, through the work that he did on the cross so we do talk about god originally intending for man to represent him but then the disobedience of man the rejection of god's authority and losing that authority to satan then of course the lord jesus came he bought back that authority and he gave it to us so do we as believers now have that authority yes because of the redemptive work of christ we do have the authority and can we now represent god on the earth yes of course we can um, uh, flow in that original uh, intention that god has for us because the lord jesus has already bought back our authority and we have the free gift of redemption okay so you know this paints a, a good picture uh, for us and uh, whatever we spoke right about believers authority when we started off this morning um, yes you know all that is now relevant to us because we do carry that authority remember we said vested with authority meaning given the authority we through jesus we have been given that authority so uh, here on the earth we are supposed to walk victorious we are supposed to represent god now when we look at the world yes we as believers have the authority but is the world still under subjection um uh, you to satan and his demons and their their agenda very much so it's like now uh, you can look at it like there are two kingdoms okay at war there is the kingdom of light and the kingdom of god the kingdom of the sun uh, the lord jesus christ as colossians puts it so there is a kingdom of light which includes us believers 
it uh, because we have been taken into that kingdom now but it also has god it also has the angelic beings and then there is the other kingdom that we term as the kingdom of darkness this kingdom of darkness is made up of satan and the fallen angels okay uh, so they both of these kingdoms are at war on the earth we do need to enforce god's kingdom we do need to um, release the authority of of god's kingdom because there is another kingdom which is working opposite so if we are just going to relax and say ah okay kesara sara whatever happens happens satan proactively will cause destruction and for him there will be no resistance right because what are god's people doing what are people belonging to the kingdom of light doing nothing they're just sitting and they're just happy i have the authority but they're supposed to use our authority uh, and uh, enforce the kingdom of god and whatever the works of the enemy are in the world around us you know, we are supposed to overcome those things so we as the people of the kingdom of light have to overcome the kingdom of darkness now the kingdom of light and darkness these are spiritual kingdoms you understand so we don't really see it when we are living our lives you don't really uh, classify and say oh this person is kingdom of light kingdom of i can see it it's not like that these are spiritual kingdoms but there is an influence of the the spiritual kingdoms on the way things are on the earth so when we pray when we um, you know uh, we we enforce our authority there will be that positive influence you know when you pray for your family you pray protection you pray wisdom you pray god's leading there is a positive influence of the kingdom of light on your family but on the other hand No, there is the influence of the kingdom of darkness right on let's say uh, the the world out there people who don't know god uh, there is that 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 dark influence that the enemy puts on them so we need to be aware of this and as the people who represent the kingdom of light we have to go against the kingdom of darkness now where and all does the kingdom of darkness affect or influence now in our notes here um, i'm currently on um, page 9 uh, there are a couple of uh, spheres listed so we'll talk about that okay so on all these things you can find the uh, influence of the kingdom of darkness so firstly uh, is everyone doing okay everything fine at your end are you awake <laughs> i hope yes, so yes ma'am yes ma'am okay that's nice okay great great wonderful all right so let's continue then yeah okay yeah so what what the kingdom of darkness can influence individuals okay individuals means people when individuals decisions are influenced they will move in accordance you know with with uh, what is being suggested to them now do you remember in the book of acts you know there is a um, time when the apostles want to minister to a, a, a government official a proconsul okay i think his name is sergius paulus if i'm not wrong uh, but at the same time there is a sorcerer by the name of elimus or bar jesus who prevents the a government official from understanding the gospel so what's happening in the spiritual realm this individual elimus bar jesus he has an influence so there can be individuals or there can be people like this who uh, you could say they are connected to the occult or the, nowadays you have you know terms like the new age people who uh, plug into things like that there are individuals who act as the influencers and we we see that we see that also in scripture there can be people like that uh, now they are a channel through whom the kingdom of darkness can work okay so that is possible now the kingdom of darkness can also influence circumstances and situations 
Now, uh, if you remember the storm that Jesus was in, you recall Jesus was in the boat, he was sleeping uh, and uh, his disciples got really fearful. And then he goes ahead and rebukes the storm. He rebukes the storm because the storm is a circumstance created by an opposite kingdom. If the storm was from the kingdom of light, Jesus had, would not have had any uh, reason to rebuke it because you don't rebuke the things of your own kingdom. But when Jesus rebuked the storm, we understand that the storm was from the kingdom of darkness. Okay, so there are circumstances that the enemy can bring into our lives. It may feel like a storm, it may not be a literal storm, but it could be you know, some situation, some pressure that we are coming under and we're thinking, this doesn't feel right. But Satan can influence. He can create those circumstances, situations. When you read about um, also Paul going to different, different um, cities, to preach the gospel, you would find that uh, suddenly some people get together and there is a mob and uh, you know there is an opposition coming against the work of God, against the ministry of God. And uh, you know, Paul in some uh, places he also talks about it that you know, Satan he created that opposition. So where is all this opposition coming from? Influence over our circumstances, over our situation, maybe a hindrance you're trying to do, but there's a shut door you're not able to do it and it could be the influence of the power of darkness the kingdom of darkness uh, it's trying to stop you from doing what god wants you to do but you know you see there is a real influence okay and um, for a lot of believers we don't want to admit it because we may feel that it's not a godly thing to admit that uh, satan influences the world that we live in uh, but it's good to know the facts. Now, don't make it a big deal. Now, there are a lot of believers who also, I remember once there was one um, student uh, in uh, the congregation where I serve uh, and uh, she came up to me and she was sharing about a sickness in her family. Uh, and she said, uh, Pastor, don't you think recently we've had you know, this sickness, I'm having this sickness in my family, uh, so-and-so is having that sickness in their family, somebody else is having some other sickness in their family and it has all happened over the last uh, whatever, you know, X number of months. Uh, Satan is trying to attack us as a congregation, as a body. So I just heard her out. I was like, okay, okay, you know. You know what? Frankly, uh, Satan has no other work than to attack us all the time. Uh, whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, constantly he's coming up with new ideas and plans of how to get us into trouble. Create a hindrance, create an opposition, create something, something, something. Because that's that's what he wants to do, Okay. Uh, but when we become very focused on it, we get, uh, we get, um, we put our attention and say, oh, Satan is trying to do this. Satan is trying to do that. Satan is, you know what? That is very unhealthy. So it's best not to read too much into uh, something that we are going through. Yes, we are going through. We, we don't deny. Yeah, this is unusual. You know, why, why am I facing so much of delay? Why am I facing uh, so many roadblocks? S something is up here. So acknowledge it, but don't get panicky that, oh, Satan is trying to attack me, right? Because uh, you see, uh, this is a lifelong thing. We have to keep overcoming the enemy, no matter what Satan does. And he will always keep doing something or the other. So the point is, don't read too much into it. I know I'm teaching about the kingdom of darkness, influencing individuals, influencing circumstances. And what happens to uh, the students? They become very conscious. Oh, Satan, you know, Satan is doing this. Satan is doing that. No, don't become like that. Just understand it. Um, uh, and know that, yeah, these are facts. But we have been given the authority and the victory to overcome no matter what Satan is doing, his demons are doing. So we have to come to that place. Okay. And one more thing I want to just clarify about kingdom of darkness and kingdom of light before going further is, you see, there is, I like to put it this way. Kingdom of, see, Satan and his demons are finite. They're finite beings. God is infinite. 
okay satan is a created being you know lucifer he was an angel before is he uh, immortal no beginning no end no 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 that is god the person of god uh, so satan is a created being so when you when you try to understand god and satan you will realize there is really no comparison there you know so uh, it, it, it's hard to explain but for just for our understanding it's it's something like you know if if god is this big then you're talking about an enemy who's probably this much when you're talking about kingdom of light and kingdom of uh, god and all and the kingdom of darkness the comparison is something like this it's not equal it's not equal so uh, for believers to make satan and jesus a very big deal uh it's not required okay it's just part of our lives every day as long as you're on the earth this world is you know infected by the kingdom of darkness influences are everywhere you go can't help it right you can't we can't wear a space suit and and move around right it's there but we just have to know our authority and know how to enforce our victory wherever we go okay so uh, that interruption there let's go back to what i was saying so i was saying that the kingdom of darkness can influence individuals can influence circumstances can influence world systems okay what are these systems government it can uh, if you look at some of the cities where 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 paul went you know the kind of business that they had you had uh, ephesus where the business was all about goddess diana right like everything revolved around that um, so systems of the world okay, whether it's business finances education you know, some places you would see that what is taught is uh, their own philosophy their their own uh, you know things not not necessarily um, facts over there so education could be influenced government can be influenced right all the world systems can also be influenced by the evil one is he happy to do things like this very much is very much happy to bring in his values okay what are his values uh, dishonesty corruption uh, you know extortion so when you look at the financial system like that your heart really breaks and you think wow what is this what is going on but that's what the enemy likes to do you look at the uh, uh, field of arts entertainment right media uh, there are so many fallen standards you know of morality over there uh, satan is influencing because he does not want god and godly standards to uh, stay there so these are all the influences of the enemy on the world systems okay they, they he wants to control the world in his own way then the influence over geographic regions and territories so remember i i just mentioned ephesus over here ephesus is a city it was influenced it was influenced uh, by uh, certain gods and goddesses if you look at athens athens a region and a territory they were influenced by philosophical thinking and you know um uh all those mythologies and things like that so every given region and territory also can be influenced either by a thought process a pattern of thinking or you know sometimes when you look at certain regions i was just uh, uh uh some news reports uh, i was watching and i came across a particular region uh in uh, south uh, you know south america i'm sure there are other regions as well but they were talking about how dangerous it is with with um you know uh, uh, like uh, for human life uh, some murders and, and all that i was like wow how is it possible that an entire region has uh, matters like that now yes these are choices that human beings make but over and above they can also be uh, an influence okay so sometimes we will talk about this later you know you can have spirits uh, that that uh, instigate violence there can be demonic spirits that uh, instigate murder there can be demonic spirits that instigate uh, you know unrest uh, conflict 
so so many so many of these influences can come from the enemy as well okay so uh, such things can happen so regions entire regions territories uh, can also have a certain influence of the kingdom of darkness there can be cultural forms okay? cultural forms are some music or some dance form or some art right some art that you look at uh, which is influenced by demonic uh, by the kingdom of darkness and you know uh, i am sure many of you are familiar and there have been all these you know instances and uh, uh, talks about some music that uh, was created under the influence some demonic influence and when people hear it uh, then you know they they become violent and and all that so yeah it's possible even the art forms uh, can be influenced by the enemy and uh, but you know when we are studying all these things look at the flip side also if something is influenced by the evil one and it's so destructive if it's influenced by god that is so positive isn't it so that's why you know, those of you who are in arts entertainment recently uh, um uh, a girl that i know she doesn't attend our service regularly but um uh she she you know used to whenever she could uh, she uh, messaged me and she said that she's come up with this uh, lovely calendar for children okay and uh, i picked up a couple of those uh, calendars to give some kids that i know and i was just so uh, uh, you know impressed by it i was like what a wonderful gift you know it has scriptures on it it has some nice lovely stickers that the kids can use and it it helps them plan at a very young age it's like one small table calendar that you can stick uh, you learn how to plan you you can put a star on an important day so i was thinking how did she get this idea what a wonderful idea she's using her creative ability uh, to influence positively okay so that's the flip side arts entertainment you're a creative person you can use your skills in a very very positive way right so uh, but also know that satan is doing the other thing he is trying to influence in a destructive way you know you take up all these uh, games you these days gaming is a big thing isn't it uh, people spend loads of money for the right uh, technical resources to do what play games where uh, somebody is being killed and there's bloodshed what's happening to the human mind what's happening to the human brain it's a negative influence right whether we like it or not people are being influenced negatively so uh, but what if that same gaming is used positively it can be used to teach moral values to children it can be used uh, you know to to teach different subjects uh, in in school so it's it's about how much influence each kingdom is exercising and definitely the kingdom of darkness is exercising uh, its authority and influence on all these areas so arts and entertainment organizations and institutions they can also be influenced by uh, uh, by the kingdom of darkness okay um, activities certain activities you if you consider a, a particular region it might be strange to notice that there's a lot of prostitution going on in that area and you're thinking why like what is wrong why why is it so prevalent over here for us as believers we understand that it's not just what you see in the natural but in the spiritual realm right uh, there is the influence of the kingdom of darkness also on regions when you when you see um, you know things like this which uh, which are uh, affecting a lot of people no amount of you know policy change regulation is able to make a difference maybe there's a spiritual influence behind that you know there can be alcohol sometimes you look at certain areas some regions and you find why why is every other person every other household affected by uh, alcohol and somebody there is addicted there could be an influence right so uh, satan and his uh, demons they love to do things like this and also you know buildings spaces homes objects they can also be influenced by uh, the uh,
Okay. Um, so sorry about that. I got disconnected there, but we can continue. All right. Yeah. So I was saying that, you know, buildings, spaces, homes, objects, uh, they can also be influenced. Okay. Um, uh, if you all have any questions, please uh, feel free to interrupt and ask because I know that generally people have a lot of questions when we are uh, touching on uh, this particular subject. So uh, how how do uh, the the how does the kingdom of darkness gain influence? Right? Oh, we we said different things here: institutions, world systems, uh, spaces, buildings, people. So here are a couple of ways uh, through which the access is gained, or uh, in other words, uh, engaging, right? Uh, how these these earthly systems end up engaging in the uh, the kingdom of darkness or the spirit realm. So these would be disciplines. Okay? Disciplines are uh, things like uh, you know what people do regularly. So. There can be prayers which are prayed that connect you to the uh, occult, the demonic realm. There can be incantations. Incantations are like, you know, things like uh, that are repeated. Okay. So you, you repeat a chant, you repeat uh, some sort of a devotional, um, uh, you know, activity and uh, that connects you to the demonic realm. Uh, there can be some sort of worship, you know, people, people, um, bring their offerings uh, and they worship they might worship a certain object now by doing all these things what's actually happening is uh, you are connecting you are connecting to the uh, kingdom of darkness now you notice the same things similar similar kind of disciplines we apply for the kingdom of light we pray we worship we meditate on god's word right we do all those things but what is satan doing he is using those same things in the opposite way and that causes a connection people begin when people try to connect to the the uh, kingdom of darkness they use these disciplines right so you might find there are people who are practicing these things why? Because uh, they'll have their testimonies. They'll say, yeah, I felt like this. I felt somebody spoke to me. I felt this happened in my life. Because there has become, there is a connection now. And uh, the demonic powers are able to influence. Okay. Not only this, but also a wrong lifestyle. Uh, when people engage in uh, substance abuse or they, they are living a sexually immoral life, right? Uh, when, whenever we are disobedient to God and, you know, we move in the, we practice sinful habits, that can become, if you recall Ephesians 4.26, give no, uh, 4.27, give no foothold to the devil. Okay. So we, when we give that foothold, there is a connection and uh, there can be an influence of the demonic realm over uh, people through these disciplines. So disciplines can bring about a connection. There can also be something known as dedication. Dedication is um, uh, to set yourself apart. You set yourself apart. You know, you would see this in many religious practices where people set themselves apart for you know a particular god or a goddess uh, and they live only for that goddess they might even dedicate uh, the things which they have they might dedicate and say hey this these clothes are dedicated uh, for this god or goddess so uh, they might you know dedicate some some uh, ju jewelry that they have they might dedicate it and say this only is uh, an act of worship when I put it on. Or there can also be like dance forms, music, art, all of those things which are dedicated. They can also be, uh, you know, spaces. Sometimes when you go, uh, people would, would say, uh, this space, this is dedicated to this God or this entire, this entire campus we have dedicated to a certain God or a goddess. So when dedication happens, it becomes a channel of influence, okay? So, when people dedicate, can a certain object be demonic? Yes, it can. 
it can carry its demonic influence wherever it goes when people dedicate a space can there be a lot of demonic activity in that place yes it can happen right so dedication is a very powerful way it's a very powerful way with which people engage with the kingdom of darkness uh, so they consecrate or they set themselves apart they set the things that they have um, you know apart for those demon spirits so and anything becomes a channel of expression or a vehicle of expression of those particular spirits now similarly you know i always like to bring us back to the positive of it imagine if you and i we are dedicated unto the lord we are consecrated unto the lord wouldn't we be a vessel or a channel of his mighty power expression of his glory right we are here to display his splendor his glory his praises to uh, the world so the opposite also is true so when uh, we are dedicated to god god's power can be seen through our lives and on the other hand you know uh, dedication of things uh, people spaces to the demonic powers can become an influence in the negative way okay and sometimes these dedications could happen uh, knowingly or even unknowingly and uh, one of the ways through which dedication can take place is through the words that we speak okay so uh, for example if uh, you know parents if they uh, speak because they carry words of authority if they say oh i am dedicating my child to such and such a god it stands because a person of influence has done it the dedication and dedications usually happen through words it's like a commitment you have spoken okay i'm dedicating my child to a particular goddess or something um uh, and it stays right uh, however the flip good side is when we are in christ jesus if at all there is any such commitment that has been made right one can revoke it or say that i break that commitment in the name of jesus and with your words you also break it you break the dedication so through dedication one can engage in the uh, spirit realm now moving on what are some of the other ways in which uh, the spirit world realm can be engage sacrifices okay in scripture talks about it um, we obviously know that uh, in 1st corinthians 10 verses 19 through 21 where uh, paul says uh, is an idol anything or what is offered to idol is anything rather that uh, the things which the gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to demons and not to god and i do not want you to have fellowship with demons you cannot drink the cup of the lord and the cup of demons you cannot partake of the lord's table and of the table of demons so basically here we get the understanding that whenever sacrifices are made they are made to whom if they are not made to god they are made to demons okay so the kingdom of darkness also thrives on sacrifices what are these sacrifices you know sacrifices could be material things when people bring um, some clothes they bring uh, money and they say ah this is for you this is for you uh, you know their god or goddess uh, some items of labor harvest you know, they harvest all the fruits vegetables they come and sacrifice they give it it becomes a channel of engaging the spirit realm there can also be blood sacrifices and many of our cultures we know that things like this happen where animals are uh, you know sacrificed and their blood is very much essential shedding of blood is very much essential to please a god or a goddess and only then you can see the activity of that god or that goddess so that becomes a connection right uh, in in the uh spirit realm unfortunately there are even you know human sacrifices that that uh, in the occult people talk about and it's very saddening to know that things like this are done to get power in the uh, dark world the highest form of sacrifice of course is the first born uh, and uh, we we see that you know in in the in the bible but thank god 
the first born the lord jesus was sacrificed for us to overcome the influence of any such sacrifices right so uh, but people practice these things they they practice the sacrifice of material things of animals unfortunately in some uh, places even human life is sacrificed to create a connection to the spirit realm and of course the the fourth uh, part here is rituals or religious practices so now there can be certain um, rituals and practices that that people have which give uh, demonic powers influence okay uh, now if if you have questions i think it will be a lot easier for me to answer to you you know what what is a ritual uh, is this a ritual or not or is this a discipline or not uh, so these are all ways with in which you know one engages in the occult or the uh, uh, demonic uh, realm okay so let me pause at this time and just want to check with us any anything as of now that you want to clarify or ask questions yeah yeah yes uh, nicholson please go ahead yeah hello pastor nancy so um i just wanted to i mean based on some things that we are dealing with here so yeah. one is i want to know what is um so there there's a person who is manifesting he's uh, possessed then he manifests sometimes when we worship uh, two people actually and while we were praying okay. for them uh, the lady two of us got a confirmation that we got like a picture of a knot so we knew that there's some kind of bondage somewhere then the other person also uh, the other man he said there's no bondage but he said he we again through word of knowledge we found out that uh, he was dedicated at a young age to mm -hmm. some kind of uh, Uh, some idol something like that now what i wanted to know is as many times we cast out demons and they leave but mm -hmm. these two people it's been a constant battle now is it mm -hmm. can we break through that or do they also need to meet us somewhere midway like why is it not happening yeah. for them mm -hmm. so so yeah, that was good, my question question Yes, yes. Thank you. I'm very. Uh, 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 what do I say? It is a struggle. Uh, and what I would say is, don't give up. Okay, don't give up. Keep ministering to that person, uh, because ministering is important. And uh, you you are doing that. That's wonderful. But. another uh, good thing that you can do is see not at all times will an individual manifest there are some cases when uh, something like that happens but in most cases they they will be in their own mind you know for uh, a large period of time so teaching them god's word will help uh, nicholson if you can uh, get some time with uh, both of these individuals separately and uh, just take them through god's word just take them through uh, you know the power of the cross and how victorious they are and all because uh, also the renewal of the mind right it will really help them so you can bring them to a place in their own journey where they're saying this oppression over my life i choose to break it in jesus name i want to be free you know their will will be affected in that way if you take them through god's word so that also will help thank you pastor so just uh, see if you can do that sure thank you yeah sure sure thank you uh, yes uh, brother isaac you have a question Yeah, you can unmute and ask, please. No, not yet. There, no question. No. Oh, okay. I saw your hand raised, so I was wondering. Okay, no problem then. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an error. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem.
Okay. Uh, Satkinu says, ma'am, as we see in Hollywood movies, the demon comes and open windows, <laughs> light goes when he comes. Uh, is it real? Is Satan that much powerful as shown in TV or we read? Uh, so, uh, you know, Satkinu, these things can happen. Okay. It can happen because um, like the demon spirits, you know, they can they can manifest they can manifest themselves they they could either work through human beings or um, like the storm right we we saw the storm uh, that that jesus rebuked so the the whole winds and everything happened so uh, yes such manifestations can happen but here is our understanding is satan that much powerful as shown in tv i already clarified to us uh, sitkinu he is a defeated enemy he is a created finite being who is no match to god and his kingdom he has a limited time on the earth he has an agenda so he will do his best to uh, negatively influence everything that comes in his way but we are already victorious okay and we have to enforce that victory on him every time we come across something keep enforcing your victory keep moving on you know that's how a believer should function so don't get scared by all these things and don't watch too much of all, all these hollywood scary movies also unnecessary yeah it's a good question does it help oh, okay great great yes ma'am okay yeah Yeah. So um uh let's uh, soak all this in uh, and I'm sure uh, you will have questions when we connect during the next class and see, look this subject is very practical. So um if you have situations that you've been through uh, or something that people are going through uh, you could you know um, maybe uh, talk about that we can discuss and we can see how to apply what we are learning okay so that is what is really important so do ask questions to uh, you know come up with uh, uh, some inputs here and there okay so for today then we will close uh, we will pray uh, and i want to request someone to please do that anyone can you please pray and close today's uh, class Let's pray. Yeah, Father, sure. in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the authority, the power that you've given to us. We pray that as we learn these words, may you give us authority, more powers to dominate all the work of Satan because it was finished at the cross when you surrendered your son, Jesus Christ. Victory belongs to you, Jesus. We pray that, Lord God, the blood of Jesus that finished everything at the cross should continue reigning in us. We pray and dedicate ourselves, we de dedicate the entire world through the blood of Jesus Thank Christ. You. We pray, believing mm -hmm. all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Paul, for leading us. Okay. God bless everyone. Have a wonderful day. Great weekend. We'll connect again uh, next Friday. And uh, I really hope this subject makes a difference to all of us. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. God bless. Bye. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. You too.